Good morning, guys. It's really early because we have to get ready to go to music class. It's so funny how last week, the first week, uh, I was all concerned, like, okay, I have to do my hair and makeup, I have to wear something cute to make a good first impression, and now I'm like, this is me. We're doing it. All right, week two of music class. Last week, Trey said he wasn't ready and he didn't want to go when I asked him, but we've been practicing our music all week and listening to the CD they gave us. Are you ready now? You want to go now? Say yes. I'll take that as a yes. Music class went great. He has so much fun there. It's just structured enough so that he's learning that he needs to listen to another authority figure and that he needs to be quiet and participate, but also there's plenty of like free time where he can run around and dance and stuff. So it's 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 really fun for me too. Now we're home, Trey's taking a nap, and now I'm in the process of printing and filling out preschool applications. Yeah, for most places you have to turn them in by December in order to be accepted next. September, which is crazy to me because I'm usually, I'm such a last minute kind of person. In a perfect world, I could be like, okay, I think I wanna start Trey in preschool next week. So uh, here you go. That's just how I am. I, I'm, not, I'm not a planner in that sense. I'm a planner when it comes to short-term things, but not long-term things. I'm like, I don't know where we're gonna be then. How am I gonna feel? What's going on? I'm looking around for schools. I kinda wanna do Montessori school, but I'm open to other ideas as well. Yeah, it's, it's a lot and it's expensive really freaking expensive. And something that's really throwing me off is like most of these places you need to go in, an, in for an interview. Not with the kid necessarily, but with the parents, which I kind of understand to an extent. However, it's just weird. It's really weird to me that, oh, that this is a thing and that it's competitive. It starts in preschool? Are you kidding me? I don't want to, uh, what the heck? So much pressure. I think I heard an awake baby. Oh. And he has no hairs. Where'd all your hairs go? Do you see yourself? Who is that baby? Who is that? He's handsome, huh? See, it says handsome. Trey, can you tell me why is it that you will sleep for three hours on the weekends, but then during the week, you only <laughs> sleep for an hour and a half? What's up with that? What's up with that? You have mommy's purse. What's in there? Whole lot of nothing. Oh, there is a quarter though. So I change his outfit because I want to see if he'll paint. Okay, or maybe we'll just play with the purse. Where are we going? Are we going shopping? Oh, okay, but yes, we do need our shoes before we go shopping. Okay, do you want to put those on? Let me see those shoes. No pants, but we got shoes and a shirt. And really, all those signs on places don't mention anything about pants. They just say no shoes, no shirt, no service. None of them say you need pants too. So really we could go anywhere. Right, Trey, so remember all those other times that I tried to get you to paint, but you're probably too young. Even though Pinterest said you'd totally love it. Well, I think you might like it now. So we're gonna try. Now put it on here. You could use your feet as well, that's fine. You guys, this is so exciting. Oh, you wanna do the marker too? Okay. Yeah, add some texture to it. Put it on the paper, not in your mouth. It's all over your hands. That's okay though. Yucky. There's a good angle. Now we can really see the masterpiece being created. That's yucky, isn't it? We don't like to eat that, yeah. Whoopsies, we had a little bit of a uh, vomit thing happen after you tried to eat some, but it is non-toxic kids finger paint, so it's fine. And hopefully you won't want to eat any more of it. Not food. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to use this one? Cool. Yellow. Look, I'll do it with my fingers. Ooh, using the feet technique. I like it. <laughs> you trying to dance too? He's like, I want to start over. Let's use the butt eraser. You basically have a blank slate now, thanks to your bum. There you go. Now put it on here. He's like, well, this would be so much easier if I had an easel. Woo! Put it on the paper. You wanna paint the back of it too? And you wanna turn it back over? Okay, here, let me just put the paint on here. So beautiful. Any takers? Anybody wanna buy this? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, this was missing more purple, wasn't it? What's going on in that little brain? You got blue and purple waiting for you. Look at all those sponges. Do you want me to open it? Take your pick. All right, and you can, let's not say stab. Let's say, you know, well, stamp it, bang it, poke it, poke it, that's a good one, you can poke it. Ah! All the brushes, all the cleaning that mommy's gonna have to do. Oh, were you trying to create like a, like a 3D collage? These 
are the tools of my art. Nobody understands me. What kind of statement are you trying to make? Are you finished? You over it? Is this you trying to tell me you're done? Wipe off my hands, ma. I'm going home. My day at work is done. Here is the final masterpiece. I'm very proud of you. Now, what kind of preschool wouldn't want an artist who can paint something like this? Can you go give this to daddy? Hold it, two hands. Go give it to daddy. Come on, I'll go with you. You hold one end, I'll hold the other end. Bring it to daddy. Oh, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> well, he made this for you. You made this? Yes. You made this? What? <laughs> With what parts of his body? Sometimes he stepped on it, sometimes he sat on it, but he used like a paintbrush and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't make it. He did. Thank you, man. Mm. Okay, you guys, something happened yesterday. I don't want to scare you or shock you. Trey has been replaced by a little boy who got all of his hair chopped off. Yep, we had a little mishap at the barber shop yesterday. It was the worst experience, probably of both of our lives, Trey and I. He was not a fan of the clippers, so he was crying the whole time, louder than I've ever heard him cry. Oh, but he just looks so cute now. 